Ready for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, but it really doesn't matter much if I am. So, so uh, but I know our guys will be excited. And, you know, I saw the polls come out, and, and we moved up just a little bit, and they moved up to 11. So, I don't know if we've played a game where we've had the combination of two highly ranked teams like this in, in recent memory. So, it should be a lot of fun. When you see K State, what, what, what sticks out for you know, when you look at them? Well, they don't beat themselves. You know, they play great defense, they're well coached. Uh, and then uh, their motion is if you're not sound defensively, they can make you look pretty bad because they, they do a really good job of, of uh, reading and reacting to how you guard different types of screens. So uh, uh, they're just a really sound team. Talk about how different they are without Frank Martin there with, with Bruce and, and what he's been able to do. Well, I think there's some similarities, and, and I think that there should be similarities. I mean, Frank installed a, a grinded out, tough, uh, physical way to play, and they're still playing that way. Now they've implemented, you know, through Bruce's beliefs or their staff's beliefs, uh, some different ways to go about doing things. You know, they, Frank played totally different type of offense, and and and, and uh, Bruce runs motion, but it's amazing. But Bruce still gets the most shots in both of them. I mean, so so it's 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 just different ways to get to the end result. And you know, Frank guarded ball screens a certain way and pressed out on everything, and Bruce guards it a little bit differently, but but still. Uh, I, I see a lot of similarities, uh, not so much in the X's and O's standpoint, but what's and what's most important is is how you compete and how hard you play, and, and certainly there's some carryover there. You tired of seeing Rodney? <laughs> You've seen him enough times now. Uh, you know, I actually uh, uh, I, he's one of my favorite players in the league. I, I, I've always enjoyed uh, coaching against him. I think he's a, a really nice young man, uh, at least from my limited uh, contact with him, uh, but I, I certainly respect his game a lot. And trust me, they could say, have you got tired of seeing Withy, Relaford, and, and Johnson too? So, you know, not very often do you have uh, that many old guys out there playing at a pretty high level. Coach, that environment, uh, can you talk about it? Because it's uh, in no way it's, easy. It's great. The, uh, I've said all along, I, I've, I've been in some great environments. Uh, uh, what, we, what, what Indiana did to us when I was in Illinois was a joke. I mean, unbelievable. And Michigan State's a great environment, obviously, and some other ones. Uh, Wisconsin's terrific, and Oklahoma State, my first year back here, was off the charts, but I think uh, I think Bramlage is as tough a place as we played. Uh, uh, their environment, two or three times we've been over there, is as good as I've ever seen, and I'm sure it'll be that way again to, tomorrow, so we'll have to do a good job preparing our young kids that haven't been over there, and I'm sure our veterans will talk to them about it because it, it is good. It is good. Their students are right there on top of you and, and they do a great job of being into everything that's going on. Coach No, Mizzou, is this your rival now? Yeah, yeah I think so. I, you know, K-State's always been a, the rival, but I, I think there was more of a, it was more of a respect rivalry uh, uh, than what Missouri's was. Uh, because I think on both sides of the Missouri rivalry, there was a lot of hatred that was involved. I mean, we obviously didn't like them, and the feeling was very mutual. Uh, I, I, I never, I never felt that way against K State. I, I uh, maybe because uh, you know I, I, I don't know why, but but I, I never did. But I think this will turn a little bit to become more heated uh, uh, as we move forward because. We don't have the, the, the Tigers around, and they don't have the Tigers around. So I think it's very healthy. I, I think it's good to have somebody in your league that you fans look forward to playing, and, and uh, certainly the players do, and, and this is that game for us. Does that make it more important that they're good and ranked and up and running? Uh, I think it's more important for our state. You know, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't pull against anybody in our league. You may, guys may find that hard to believe and unless we need them to lose for us to win the league or something, but I, I, mean, I, I, I don't mind our league being good, and I certainly don't mind K-State being good, and I've said many times in the past, uh, I just don't want to be good at our expense, but it's, it's great for our state. I mean, hey, we got three teams in the top 20 from the state of Kansas this week. I mean, that is great for our state and, and, and that kind of stuff. Wichita State's having a great year, so I, 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 I find that good. I would much rather play a K-State team that's ranked uh, high than, than not play a K-State team that isn't ranked. Uh, 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 I think this is makes for a much better atmosphere and makes for more exposure for both uh, universities. It's more exposure for our league, and you know nothing negative can come of it. Uh, you know unless we go over there and lay an egg, and we've done that before, so we have to be very prepared. 
that obviously means you got to get out the gate a little bit faster than the last couple of games against this team. Yeah, you know, I, I had a kid, I had a real, really, really, really bright player at Tulsa who got his degree in engineering, and I said, this is what we have to do to win. And he said, so you're telling me if we don't do this, then we're automatically going to lose? And I'm like, well, uh, well, no. So, so, so for me to say we have to, you know, I don't know what we have to do. We would like to. Uh, but no matter what, it's a 40-minute game, and, and very rarely do the games go as scripted uh, the way you'd like for them to. But, but uh, it would certainly benefit us, I believe, to, to shoot the ball a little bit better than what we have in the past uh, two or three weeks. Coach, away from basketball, I know we met Obama at uh, the inauguration today. Keep up with it. Did you, watch you know it? what? I only saw the, 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 the opening. I, I was watching tape. Uh, hey, I know our, our, our national politics and uh, defense and uh, financial situation is important, but not as important as scouting Kansas State right now. So, <laughs> so I apologize to people for that. Uh, uh, but uh, no, it, it is quite a spectacle. And, and uh, but I didn't get a chance to tune in and see much more than the the, op the very opening. Is there anything you've observed about Bruce that allows him to come into a new place and have a significant no, not really. I mean, I, I, I'm not in on the note. So, so I, I, Bruce and I don't talk, and so I mean, on a, we don't call each other and ask each other how you're doing or do the guys like you or what are you going to run. I mean, that that's that, that that'll never happen. So, so, uh, and I'm, I mean, that didn't happen with anybody. So, uh, I think from the outside looking in, me observing he is that he's been very, very, very uh, good, and his staff has been is is not taking something that's broken because it wasn't broken and utilizing his schemes into what was already there that was good. I think he's been good at that. Probably better than, much better than what I was when I came here. I'll be real candid with you. I, uh, you know, we are coming off back to back Final Fours and all that stuff and I'm telling our guys, hey, this is how we're going to play and it's going to work. And they're like, oh, 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 your way didn't work as good as our way. You know, one of those deals. Uh, uh, so he's been he's been very good at uh, how he's handled that situation from the outside looking in. What is your relationship like with Bruce? Uh, what, what, what word would you use to describe that? Uh, cordial. Fine. I mean, I have no issues with Bruce. I know that there were some some things that were were said, and, and uh, uh, you know, after he replaced me at Illinois. But you know, the thing about it is, and I've learned through the years, uh, I don't know if you can really take over a job and not at some point in time say something that appears to be controversial to the previous staff. I know I probably did with Roy. I mean, I, that, that stuff happens. It, it, it's, it's hard to be, uh, 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 stand up and fight for what you know you need to do and still yet not potentially step on a toe here and there. So there is absolutely nothing uh, about that situation that, that has anything to do with the ball game tomorrow. Coming down 11, from 11 down on Saturday, how much do you think that did to prepare you for Monday night? Or Tuesday, um, sorry. Yeah, hopefully it won't do much money tonight. But, but <laughs> uh, I, I, I would hope it would prepare us. You know, the thing about it is, <clears throat> that was, being down 11 was poor play. You know, at Ohio State, hey, we're playing good and we go down eight because we go, you know, brain dead there for about three minutes. And, and that was good to kind of turn that one. And it was good to kind of stop this one, the momentum, and, and have some positive things happen. So, so yeah, I mean, I think the one thing it does with your guys, no matter what the situation is, we can still try to figure it out. And, and I think that should give you confidence. If it has anything to do with this one particular game, I would have no idea. What is that today that is stressing in the players? This is for first place. Is that what they stress? Uh, no, no, I, I won't stress that. But he's right. I mean, the winner will be, unless we tie, <laughs> uh, the winner will be 5-0 and, oh and, the, and the loser will be 4-1. and one. So, so. Uh, uh, you know, I I, uh, I I totally understand that. But you know, the thing about it is with with the league race, and, and I've learned this over the years. Uh, uh, you know, four games in to an 18 game schedule it is is very 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 early. So much of it is just who you played and where you played them so far and that kind of stuff. And and they're, they they've got they're off to a good start without question. And it is for first place, but it's at first place 30 percent of the way in. It's not for first place, obviously, uh, uh, when we're getting into deep February. All right,